we begin this video with Mountain Dew already in progress. Today I'm going to ramble about a subject that's popped up once again in the cyclical seasonality of YouTube argumentation in the great debate community, and that is the all babies are atheists argument. You could have watched a hundred or so videos of mine and inferred this position of mine that I'm about to state. But, I'll give it to you in a nutshell in this video. And this is pretty much why I'm not invited to play in the reindeer games of some other YouTube atheists. It's because this notion that I have is so dangerous to their ability to lead simpleton flocks that they don't want me around very much because, you know... They've made a name for themselves stating this position and the way that I discard it and ragdoll it around and uh, rub their nose in it is, you know, not something that, something that they want to promote at all, especially not with uh, proper thought-out responses. They'd rather just keep on harping on, all babies are atheists, all babies are atheists rather than uh, actually take on some of the things that I'm going to say here. So, if you haven't already been uh, appraised of all the different reasons why the all babies are atheists dogma and other dogmas, such as the binary dichotomy that if you're not an atheist, that you're, you're a theist, are are complete total bullshit. Um, I would suggest uh, watching my channel more, watching uh, Brian J1962's channel more, um, because we we do away with it so much, and it still it pops up over and over again. Pretty much because. We're, we're smart enough to see that the argument is bullshit, but we are too stupid to leave YouTube. That's, that's what it is. Because YouTube has fresh meat coming in all the time that just latch on to this uh, idea. So, if you're placing value on the default position and you're equating the state that beings are born with as this default position, I disagree with your premise. And here's why. Ignorance, like faith, is a false virtue which I do not abide by. Pride in ignorance disgusts me even more, and putting ignorance on a pedestal is even worse. Rather, I favor the fundamental value of learning and bettering oneself. I loathe people who celebrate their ignorance. On this channel previously, I have given the example of a cousin of mine who stated at a family barbecue that he was proud that he had not read a single book in all the years he went to high school. He forced his younger sister to read the books for him, and write his book reports, and he still graduated. He read nothing bigger than a newspaper or email or comic book. So, there were certain other traits about this cousin of mine that I didn't like. He was a redneck racist, uh, very prejudiced against all things that weren't Southern pride, he had a bumper sticker on the back of his truck that said, Get her done, along with a lot of other uh, racist redneck platitudes. And when I, when I heard from him that he was proud that he did not read a book, I realized why I hated everything else about him. And it was because he prided himself in ignorance. 
he saw that ignorance, that simple lifestyle. I, he loved the, the Leonard Sinner, Skinner song, Simple Man, okay? He prided himself in being the simple man, you know? Uh, Homer Simpson was his hero, <laughs> you know? Not, uh, not like some of us take it as a rebuke of American values declining, um, no, he really thought that that's cool. You know, Peter from uh, The Family Guy, Peter Griffin, loved him too. You know, loved everything he said. You know, really valued simple thought. And I hated him for it. I still do. I haven't seen him in like three years. Don't want to. So... If you think that your set of beliefs has more in common with an unlearned baby than an educated theist, I smile at how you don't realize how you insult yourself, but I still disagree, and I give you more benefit than you do uh, with my assessment of you. The atheism versus theism of a person's beliefs can be sectioned off as a smaller part of what atheists and theists believe about the world, that newborn babies do not have the capacity to understand or comprehend. Atheists and theists have more in common than either do to babies, okay? That notion might not help you uh, get the next burn on your opponent in your next ponage video, but it wasn't intended to. And if you're at odds with that notion, then this video right here, right now, probably burns you as a ponage video directed at you. Okay? And still, there's there's people who stubbornly commit themselves to argumentum ad baby think is pure awesome and those people are sorry they're a sorry lot indeed um, rather than stress the need for critical thinking skills in education which would over time smooth out the things that are wrong about religion and the differences between those atheists and theists as they both learn together in the world they nearly deify the state of mind of a baby the problem is babies aren't pure and the default position being argued for here you know, default position is not equivalent to the active participatory act that advances knowledge when a practitioner of a certain methodology removes his own biases and, and suspends his biases for a second and then looks at a problem and tests an idea. This is something that uneducated people can't do. Babies are uneducated and they are especially uneducated because they don't understand why education is important they don't understand why biases get in the way of finding out new knowledge okay this is this is actually something that we need to instill in people before we give them critical thinking skills or even introduce them to them because what happens when you give people critical thinking skills and don't, don't teach them these things, is you get people who want to revert back to being baby-like. Okay? What, what really complicates this is that babies are not unbiased. And people that are arguing that babies are the default position when they're born, they don't recognize this, okay? And if you haven't been educated properly, you don't understand this, but I'm going to say this very simply. 
Babies have instincts. And in the group of things that can bias you are your instincts. What you instinctually think might be the case is a bias. And you need to be able to remove yourself from that. Babies don't come brand new out of the vahoo without instincts. In fact, most of their instincts are savage. They come with a savage mindset. Okay, they just want to live and they don't care about anything. But mm, suck on the teat. Okay? Wah, wah, I want more. Wah, let me sleep so I can rest and get some energy and grow more. Savage. They don't care about anything else. People with a baby's mindset that grow in physical stature and not mentally, they keep that savage nature. Okay? They care nothing past basic survival needs. Okay? Those would be cavemen-like people. So I'm going to repeat this. Because I cannot stress this enough. It really does destroy this argument. Instincts are a bias. Period. Let it sink in. After this video, just repeat it a couple times throughout your fucking day, if you're one of those tards who thinks all babies are atheists, instincts are a bias. Babies are far more likely to adopt the beliefs of their tribe for survival than to think for themselves because this is they make this decision about what they believe before they get the critical thinking skills okay therefore i state that babies are more likely to be theists upon their first decision of what they are because most people on the planet are theists they're going to see a theist and they're going to cling to that idea because it's in their instincts to cling to the ideas of those around them in their tribe. Those instinct, instincts are there as part of survival mechanisms, okay? So, they're not unbiased. I'm also going to state that beings that cling to the first idea that presents itself to them are not the best example of what we should strive to be. We should strive to be the kind of people that weigh all the different possibilities and choose the correct one. Our beliefs should probably evolve based on well-thought-out reasons and not pointing to the first thing that was available to cling to, um, like the absence of thought. Like, before you were indoctrinated, you had this absence of thought, and that was better. You know, they, they got there first, and, and they pride your clinging to the absence of, of thought and put it to a little bit of uh, education in their religion and indoctrination, and they put it on that, right? Right? And, and so that was wrong. You know, that's where they went wrong. They took your absence of thought and they taught you religion. Arguing that the absence of thought was there before any tribal indoctrination is supposed to give some sort of value to it because it was the first thing. Right? No. Fuck no. Um... A rabid anti-theist might say, Hey, you're hurting me, because when I was religious, a few of the things that I was educated to believe were wrong. That hurt. That hurt me mentally. And you tainted my pure nature with your wrong thoughts. But I'm going to say, wouldn't you be better off with an educated uh, person who might have thought some wrong things, teaching you what they were educated and, and giving you this education that introduced you to religion, rather than let's say 
an education that taught you that the way that babies think is a model example of how we should start all of our quests for knowledge. Even religious scientists know how to suspend their biases in order to conduct research. And in truth, most of all of the experiments that are happening on the planet right the fuck now are being done by theists doing exactly that. Getting to that default position. The true one, which requires that you actively participate in removing your biases by recognizing them for what they fucking are. Uneducated thought is not equivalent to an unbiased default position. Instincts are a bias. And very analogous to the spread of the all babies are atheists meme is the disease rabies. It's got a cool, chilling, you know, feeling when you say that word. Rabies. You know, my, my favorite football player is rabid when he, you know, goes to get the ball and score. Yeah! Right? Rabies. Just like the rock band Anthrax. And, yeah. Um, we could think of this all babies are atheists meme as a mental virus calling us back to a more primitive nature filled with rage for everyone that uh, moves in ways we don't agree with and uh, this mental virus takes us to the caveman nature within us, right? And it prides itself in being more like a caveman or a baby, you know? What you had before you were educated with this not completely right set of facts, right? What was pure? Let's go back to, you know, cooking our, our food on sticks if we even had fire. Let's go eat some sushi. Yeah! Okay, so... Rather than recognize an education that is sometimes wrong as being better than none, and recognize that atheists and theists have more in common about their beliefs than either do about babies, and recognize that religion is a, a stage that some atheists go through on their journey towards more knowledge. Those with this mental rabies would rather surround themselves in the armor of simple ignorance and tell themselves that that's the best way to be and worship the nature of babies. And this leads them to, predictably, uh, a lot of bigotry and hatred, the same way ignorance does wherever it finds a stronghold in a group of people. There once was a dumb girl from Seattle who shook a very large baby rattle. She yelled at her babies and gave them all rabies, and her prattle sent the cattle into battle. Stop the hate, people. <laughs> 